Hey guys, it's me, Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 6 of the many sides of voice actor radio. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh, that look good. Get it nice. Got it. <laughs> yeah, after all that smack shit talk she was talking last week. Of course, she has to do it for certain reasons, duh. Yep, put your fake faces on. Gotta do that sometimes. Right? But see, that's the two-sided of her. The work side versus, you know, hey, I want to be a bitchy bitch. So, you know, let me be a bitch.
No. We'll see. Right? Like, girl, what you thinking? Right? It's not her problem. It's your problem. Doesn't really seem like she's always polite and friendly. It's just like, you know, when, okay, so thinking of like jobs and a nutshell and stuff, you know, the, like how I, me, I have like two different voices. I got my professional voice and then I have my voice that I use at home. Sometimes I end up doing the mixture of both when I'm at work and doing this, but I am just so used to it that sometimes I can't even switch it off. possible. Mm -hmm. So take the initiative and talk to her. Mm -hmm. We don't need you to blow up on someone, you know?
it is, but you know, eventually it is going to get worse. Yeah. It's basically once again that two separate lives, double lives, and shit like that. What's wrong? So she's in here for moral support. Oh, damn. Right, no offense, this is your safety at risk. Exactly. Right. We don't need somebody to do something that they're going to end up regretting later on.
Okay, then. That's fine. Right? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, what about it? Girl. That's why she kind of really needs some advice at this point. See, why do I feel like her mom is just going to quickly win over? <laughs> win her over like that. So then what the hell are we going about to do for this next episode? Fast forward when they're in college?
I get that. Mm-hmm. That is like the major goal. Okay, so number one, I love the fact, once again, the comparison to Pretty Cure with this series and such, and how with that show and with that series on that show, because not only it is near and dear to my heart, it is like a, it's a status symbol for a lot of other female voice actors and, you know, a couple of male voice actors who get to also become Pretty Cures as well. Um, and it's like a rite of passage. It's sometimes, to me with the last couple of years for say you were in that series there it's either their first job and then after that they're into like bigger and better things and so they kind of always remember pretty cure as the show that kind of paved the way for them or it's like you've done this long roster of shows and when you finally get to that one series where you're acknowledged for all your hard work, I think that's sweet. And so if it's something like that, I really love the idea for it, especially my, my dream is for one of these two, one of these say used to be in Pretty Cure, so fingers freaking cross, god dang it. But I, I really do understand the mothers in this position because of the fact is, one, yes, your home the apartment you live in, the building got exposed on the freaking internet. And I think if anybody was in that situation, it's either one of two things. You're either going to try to move somewhere like really quickly so that no one else kind of tails after you and tries to follow you once again and possibly get into your apartment building and find out what floor you live on and maybe when you quote unquote least expect it, this happens. So AKA the first episode of Ocean Okoy, um, in a nutshell, especially when we got to the ending. Ain't gonna spoil that, but you know, it's been out for a good, almost what, like a, two years now? So yeah. Or the other thing is like, you are able to get out of that situation to move into a new house and everything or somewhere. But at the same time, maybe at I, I hate to say it, maybe it would be better to quit. She would have, both of them in this situation would have a regular life, even though at the same time when you're quitting something that you really absolutely love, there are pros and cons to it. The con is you're not going to be, you're losing something, like another side of yourself that you possibly won't get back for a long time and you're gonna miss that feeling of doing auditions and working and such but the pro thing is you get to have that chance of a normal life it's very similar to how like I, I would say majority of these big big youtubers are when they're like okay I'm at that age where I want to retire and I want to move on and you know fall in love with something else but at the same time that transition from working so hard into something to going into pure retirement it is a hard transition for uh, for people i don't say i'm not going to say it's for everyone um but in that transition period there there's like kind of like a moment where you're like oh damn and such that's excuse me excuse me god jesus christ it's very similar of what i like to say with my <laughs> if i can do another thing to compare myself me with job hunting I, you know, still looking for a new job and such. Um, and of course, the one thing I hate is having to refill application after application after application. It's the most repetitive transition to do because you're putting yourself out there um, to be judged. And 9 out of 10, depending on these, like, companies and such, they, like, beforehand, before I did this situation, they always wanted, like, a resume. And 
at that time, I did not have a resume and such. I was, I never even, I did, but then I didn't. So there were some people who considered my first quote unquote one, not as one. So they never really kind of like referred to me and such. Or if they did, they're like, I still need this. Like, I need to see if this is matching up and such. So you just never really know. But I get the situation of the moms. Do I agree with them? It's a little bit of yes and a little bit of no. Because once again, there are pros and cons to it. And I get the fact is that they want to, you know, um, give both of their children the benefit of the doubt and what is best for them. But at the same time, these two were in high school. They're able to make their own decisions. Not big, big ass decisions because they're not adults yet. Um, but I love the fact that both of them, they tried their like best to voice their opinions against their mothers or even going to their mom to try to get some sort of advice and stuff. So honestly, this, especially going into episode seven next week, any way can really go this could be good or bad but I don't think we're going to have them both quit I think something else really good is going to come out of this next week but just gotta wait and see on that but other than that guys that's my reaction to towards episode six of the many side of voice actor radio if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode seven but until then I will see you guys all next time bye